Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to show you how to use symbols to create a nice kaleidoscope effect. I start by creating a circle, holding shift to keep the proportions, and then turning that circle into an outline, not a fill. This will be my visual guide, as well as the clipping mask I use to contain the shapes. I bring up the symbols panel and make the circle a symbol. Just clicking on create and the circle will appear in the symbols panel as well as change from ellipse to symbol in the layer panel. Duplicate the symbol and flip it horizontally. Now we have two symbols. Make sure you duplicate the symbol and not the circle inside. It's time to edit the content of the symbol, the circle, turn it into a pie and adjust the total angle. Here I can put in a formula 360 divided by 24. That way I get 24 segments and it's a little tiny so I half it. 30% will give me 12 pie shapes. I duplicate the two and flip them vertically and then duplicate again and rotate to get my full circle of symbols. Next I group all symbols but the first one. That makes it easier to just work on the one symbol. You can lock the group if you want to. Start placing shapes inside the pie shape. So I created a rectangle and placed it in the symbol and then moved it inside the pie. So it is clipped by the pie shape. I can now color, rotate, duplicate and adjust. This is the fun part. You can just go wild with the shapes and colors you want to use. Play around, try different shapes, gradients, transparencies, different layer blend modes, see what looks nice and go from there, duplicate it, move it around. In no time you'll have a great looking kaleidoscope effect. You can go as detailed as you want or keep it as plain as you like. The options are endless. I had way too much fun playing around with this and different setups. I tried out 6, 12, 24 and 36 segments. You just got to make sure that you work with an even number. Otherwise the mirroring won't work and you need that mirroring for the kaleidoscope effect to happen. I will leave this design as it is. There's one nice thing you can do once you have a design you like and saved it. You can select all the elements that are in the clipping mask and start playing around with them. By moving all the shapes together I create the kaleidoscope effect that you have when you turn a real kaleidoscope and the shapes move reflected by the three mirrors inside. This is a lot of fun. I would suggest you give it a try, play with different colors, see what happens, move things around and be surprised by the pattern that comes up. Most of all, have fun. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, leave a comment in the section below, let me know what you want to see on my channel and I will see you again soon.